Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to like to test out a new foundation I bought from Beauty Bay and it's the new Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. <laughs> um, I think I have tested a few Revolution foundations and I was actually not really liking them. Most because I think they are not really hydrating and too much coverage. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm not a fan of a high coverage foundation, I like it to have it more natural. But this is also a full coverage foundation, and it says that it's Moisture-rich CC cream foundation with hyaluronic acid, collagen and antioxidants. This is SPF 30 and I got the shade F1, the lightest shade. So it has a pump as you can see and how much is in here? 0.87 fluid ounces which is 26 milliliters. So I have already done my face. I just need to prime and I think I will prime my face right now with the Fasali liquid glass because my skin is super dry right now. And let me just grab my mirror and coat a bit on. This smells so good. I love this. Okay. Then let's try this out. Oh, yeah, it comes, yeah, it comes. It's not. Full coverage. I mean, I like it how it is because, like I said, I don't like full coverage, but let's take some more. Okay. I like how this is looking, but I do have to say this is not full coverage because you can still see my freckles, you can still see um, all my little moles I have over here and the redness from my cheek is still visible. So this is not a full coverage guys. And. It does look kind of dry around my mouth area, but we will see. We will see. I will use now my favorite concealer, which is Dior Forever Skin, just to lighten it up a bit. What I do like about this foundation is <clears throat> that it's actually my shade. Like, this is my shade. This is awesome. blended really really good. I will now take my setting powder and as you know I still use the Herbal Loves Me Marshmallow one. And I will take my Tati Beauty Blendy form. Okay, I do like how it looks. I mean seriously, it's it's not full coverage, let's be honest. I mean, I can still I can still see everything I have here, but I do like that it's looking natural. 
I don't think that this is really moisturizing because right now my skin is really really dry and this is not it doesn't even feel really moisturizing I have to admit and it still looks kind of dry in this area here but most of all it still looks good but I want to do check-ins and keep you updated over the day. I mean, I will not go anywhere because I am home just like you and you you should be home. Um, but I will go out in the garden, just hang around on my couch and see how this is going to look over the day. Um, I would say I will now do the rest of my face. And I want to play today with the Lolita palette from Kat Von D. This is my only Kat Von D palette. Because most of her palettes are not my taste, I have to admit. But this one is definitely my taste. This is, as you can see, I have never really played with it. I have just dipped in this monochromatic over here and of course the metallic over here that's the only one that I have actually swatched for my personal satisfaction okay I will prime my lips and then see what I can do with this palette I take the shade Juanita and here it is and put this into the crease. I cannot pronounce this so we're going in this shade over here. <laughs> What's that? Muneca. I have no idea, I'm sorry. And I will take this to blend this out. So, second die is done and I was actually going over with some setting powder to even softening out even more and I just took my blender for, dipped in and was kind of doing this, you know, and this softened out everything so it's not too much color over the whole eyelid. Then let's go into the crease. No, we have done the crease. What's wrong? Outer corner. It's not the outer corner. And we take Carino. This burgundy shade over here. I don't even know. Is this Spanish? I think it's Spanish. Oh my god. I'm, I'm a horrible per person, I'm sorry. I have no idea. And I want to take the same brush, I will just clean it. getting wet and yeah basically every time <clears throat> this is happening the eyeshadow won't stick crap crap and I even want to drag the same color down the waterline And I will smoke this out with the shade we have already used over here. Okay, I did try to fix it, but I don't think it looks good. Not even here and here. I don't know. It's not my day. It looks kind of 
patchy. Why is this looking so patchy? Then, of course, I want to use this dual chrome we have over here. And I will just take my finger and see how this is turning out on my lid. Okay, I think this is more like a topper. So if you already have a very bright shade or if you just want to do something crazy with the shade you already have on your lid, you can just top it with that. But I think even as just one eyeshadow it works pretty good. Nothing to complain about. So I'm going to top this off and I will take the Rena. Rena? You know, the glitter. Just for the inner corners. And please be careful. If you do this, if you have sensitive eyes, just don't do it because if you get glitter in your eye, this will hurt your eyesight. Okay, I have changed up the upper lid a little bit and I actually took Preciosa, the lightest shade onto my upper lid and then I topped it again with the dual chrome shade. So it looks much more vibrant and not so sad actually. Okay, I will now finish off everything like my eyebrows, blush, mascara and then let's do the first check-in for the foundation I have to say because I'm sitting here for an hour like and I only can see some difference. So, see you in a bit. So, full face is done and I like the makeup look. I mean, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. And I have actually used a new mascara and this is the new one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I bought myself the mini version which is really cool because if you just want to test out or if you have a bunch of different mascaras you just love to use and you don't need a full size this is great and by the way this is how it looks really big brush and it gives so much volume and you can layer this this is amazing i have two coats on and I love it, I really do. And on my lower lash, I have only one coat. Amazing. But right now with the foundation, I can already see that it's separating here in my lines. And this is a normal thing. And I have, oh my God. Uh, lipstick on my teeth. Like, uh, this, this is life. <laughs> Now, what I wanted to say is, I can s see the lines, this is pretty normal because you move your face and yeah, I mean, I know my Shiseido is not doing the thing and this is why I like it, but right now I do like how it looks. I mean, it's a matte foundation, it's not dewy or anything, but... My area around the mouth is looking so dry and I don't like this, I really don't. But we will do check-ins and see how this is going to look in a few hours and yeah. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button or thumbs up button, whatever it is, to let me know that you like this video, that you want to see more. And of course, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Then see you in a bit. Okay, it's now, let's see, 10 p.m. And this foundation is absolutely fine. I mean, it's been eight hours. Okay, I'm wearing a foundation for eight hours now. Yes, I haven't done anything. I was editing the video, or I still am, watching some shows. I even took a little nap, so yeah, 
this is how it went down over here. I had dinner, so my lipstick is already fading away. But I have to say, it's not that bad. I mean, like I said in the beginning, it looks dry around here and it's beginning to separate. And I mean, like, really separate, where you can see that the foundation is bunching up and just falling apart, you know? But everything else looks good. I mean, that's not bad. I think if you have super dry skin, this will not really work for you because it says it's, like I said, it says that it's um, hydrating, but I don't think that this is really hydrating. Um, I have other foundations that look quite better with my skin because they do have more hydration. So, but if you have kind of oily skin this could this could work for you or at least normal to oily skin but for me maybe if i can mix this with my um skincare maybe then it's going to look better but right now hmm it's good but it's not not the best or not something where I go like damn yes this is the great foundation I have found it's not not for me but if you have this foundation if you love this foundation please let me know in the comments I would like to know and please let me know which kind of skin do you you have so I know oh god my nose is runny <laughs> uh, I will now take everything off watch a little more tv and then go to bed and i thank you so much for watching this video for hanging out with me and i wish you all a wonderful time thank you